Today's fabulous, fun, frugal, festive Christmas cookie treat, peanut butter reindeer. Alrighty, so these are excellent, delicious, fabulous peanut butter cookies. You don't have to make them reindeer if you want. You want to do the traditional round cookie with the fork, you know, ch -ch, you go right ahead. But we're making triangles because they're going to look like the reindeer's head. Okay, we're starting off with half a cup of shortening. You can use butter if you'd like. Shortening is cheaper. Now, here you go. Here's your trick for measuring shortening without getting it all gunked up in your measuring cup and then, you know, you're scraping it and like I have to do with my peanut butter in a second. Take your measuring cup. We have a big measuring cup. I have it filled to one cup of water. We are going to put shortening into the cup of water and push the shortening down into the water until the water level rises up to one and a half. Then you know that you have half a cup's worth of shortening and then you just fish it out of the water because it stays together as a blob. I've seen other YouTubers do this, but they don't tend to push the shortening down into the water. They just let it float around on top. And that's not really what you're supposed to do for an accurate measurement. You you have to have it down in the water. You have to have the combined volumes get to your desired level. And we're going to scoop out a big blob of shortening. Now we push it down into the water. And you, you want to get down to eye level with the surface of the water in your cup. Otherwise, you're not measuring accurately. You can't look from below and see if the water is hitting the line. That's not accurate. Down at eye level, and it's almost, almost at one and a half cups. So we have to put a little bit more in because we know then that the half a cup of shortening plus the cup of water together will equal one and a half cups. And it looks to me like it's at one and a half cups. Then all you do is take your shortening out of there and plop it in your bowl. The half cup of shortening, we're going to add a cup of peanut butter. I think most of your peanut butter cookie recipes will have equal amounts of butter slash shortening with the peanut butter, but not us because we like to push things to the extreme. So half a cup of shortening, a whole cup of peanut butter. That's right. The dog says, yes, go for it. And into this, we're going to add half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of white sugar. The brown sugar. Oh, there it goes. And we will cream all of this together. All right, once all that's nicely mixed, you add a teaspoon of vanilla and one egg. And stir that around. To that we add one and a quarter cups of flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It's a real workout now. Got to mix it all together. If you're having trouble mixing it all together, because it is challenging, you can add up to three tablespoons of milk. Just a little splash helps it mix together. And there we have our dough. All right, we have our dough here. We have our broken up pretzels as antlers. That's pretty classic. And we have M&Ms for nose and eyes. Of course, the oven is preheated to 350. I'll also fill in the spaces with just some regular peanut butter cookies. Now 
There we are! Oh, so adorable! This is actually the second batch, so Rudolph in this go-around has the smaller antlers of the younger deer, not the full antlerage of the mature buck. Oops! Forgot to crisscross a couple of those. These won't spread, really, so I'm not worried about them baking into each other. So we're going back into the 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and these are so good and so delightful and so adorable and this one's a zombie with glowing yellow eyes ah! how cute oh and by the way the m&ms and the pretzels are both left over from halloween and after about 15 minutes in the oven here they are they turned out better than i expected to be honest hmm you think the frugal babies want to try these Frugal lobbies! Unfortunately, nobody wants to try a peanut butter cookie. Me. Oh, you do? I'll try one. You will too? I like peanut butter. Alrighty. Alright, who wants a reindeer Me. with blue eyes? Me. There you go. Look at the reindeer. I want that one. How cute! Oh, that reminds me of Angus. Aww. And here, Daddy, I'm going to give Daddy a regular, big old, delicious peanut butter cookie. Me too. Now, the M&M's are firmly stuck on, and the pretzel antlers also firmly ensconced on the reindeer's head. Did you eat the nose off already? Daddy, did you eat one? You both ate the noses off. I don't know what happened to mine. Did, did you lose yours? I don't know. I might need another one. This is really good. Very peanut buttery. You know, some peanut butter cookies have you sprinkle sugar on top. I don't do this. This is plenty sweet. No extra sugar on top. No. That would make it unhealthy. Daddy has an idea. I... <laughs> Nutella. Nutella. Always with the Nutella. All right, Daddy wants Nutella, so I have two cookies that are similar in size, and he can sandwich Nutella in between, because obviously he's all about heart-healthy living. You know what song we're going to sing. Rudolph the Red Nose had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Is it better than good? Is it great? No, it's the best in the whole wide world. The best in the whole wide world? Is it the best thing you've ever eaten in your whole life? If you like this video, click the subscribe. I'm Hit gonna... the thumbs up button. Share on social media and give us your comments. And hey, sing along. Merry Christmas!